Uh, let's talk about the debate tomorrow yeah. night. Some people are calling this the, the biggest debate of our lifetimes. It seems like we hear that a lot, <laughs> by the way. You and debates go way back. Yeah. You've done plenty yeah. of them going all the way back to the college days. Yeah. What do each of these two men have to do tomorrow night, uh, you know, as you're a spectator right. watching this? What do you think they need to do? Look, I, th I think it's going to be must-see television. I think everyone's going to watch it. Um, and, and I'm not sure what we're going to see. I, I, I hope, I think Trump's going to win tomorrow mm -hmm. in the debate. We'll see. My hope is that Trump is restrained. Yeah. Uh, do you think he will be? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, what I would like to see is Trump simply lay out the facts and lay out the facts that, that Joe Biden and the Democrats' record has gone disastrously. That, that, that whether it's inflation that's hurting working families, whether it's crime that is rising unacceptably, whether it is the chaos at the southern border, or whether it is the absolute disaster uh, of foreign policy, Joe Biden inherited peace and prosperity. We now have two simultaneous wars. Uh, the classic question in any election is, are you better off today than you were four years ago? And I think just about any Texan looking at that, your life was better off when Donald Trump was president than it has been under Joe Biden. If the policy record from Washington is a mess, unless you happen to be a big tech billionaire or a Mexican drug lord, and by the way, if you're either of those, you should vote for Joe Biden because his policies have been very good for them but not for working families. What I hope Donald Trump does is prosecutes that case in a calm, matter-of-fact way. I, I don't know that it will happen. I suspect there are going to be some fireworks just given the personalities. I also think people are going to be watching Joe Biden to see his mental faculties and his ability to discuss these issues. So what does a win look like for him if he were to win, quote unquote, win this debate? Well, listen, he has one advantage, which is expectations are pretty low. I, I think many, if not most Americans. Is that a danger, though, for former President it, it Trump? It is a danger, that actually, that it, it, is, it, is that because, uh, look, I, I, I think President Biden is, is suffering from a significant diminishment of his mental capacities. I think his age has we see that on a daily basis. Um, I also think, you know, President Trump has pointed out that he's going to be juiced up on something. I absolutely believe that. I was there at the State of the Union address. Uh, the last State of the Union Some people address. have said that, he, that, that Trump saying that is basically him trying to raise expectations now for, for President Biden because he set them too low by saying he's sleepy and so on and so forth. So, so I will say, having watched that State of the Union address, I've been to 12 State of the Union addresses the 12 years I've been in the Senate. The latest one was unlike any I've ever seen, in that Biden was angry, he was juiced, he was, he was, he was charging, and, and listen, if could you could- it be that he's just still got the fire? No, no, because it didn't compare, if you look at any other interview, it, it was, I don't know if they had him on Adderall or what they had him on, and I'm not suggesting that, that, that he's doing lines of coke, I'm saying that they're giving him, uh, I, I think they are almost certainly trying to get him to be able to have 90 minutes of, of focused attention. Which what if he's on, just animated? But look, on any given day, if you watch him, he wanders off the stage. Listen, when you see the Italian prime minister having to lead him back to the group because he's wandering away, when you see Barack Obama having to lead him by his hand, I think... We are seeing, and listen, old age comes from all of us. That, that's the path we're all on, but, but some people age faster than others. You know, you look at Joe Biden. I've known Joe Biden for a dozen years. Joe Biden swore me in. When I was elected to the Senate, he was vice president. He swore me in. I will tell you the man in the Oval Office today is not the man I knew a dozen years ago. I do think, though, if, if Biden exceeds expectations, if he's able to answer questions and to be cogent, and to respond, and it's some of why I said I, I would like to see Trump be restrained, because I, if Trump talks over him, then you don't get a chance for Biden to see if he can answer a question or not. I, I know that we're out of time.